everybody, it's me, Rachel, and in today's video I have a new brand to talk about that I've never actually heard of, and I found them through Instagram, and I wanted to play with them. This is called, this is Beauty Pie, so I'm not really sure where, I think they're um, mainly from the UK, but I'm not really sure. Uh, I could probably, I'll put it up on the screen for to be for sure, but... I really wanted to play with these and the way their website works is you have to kind of do a subscription it's like ten dollars a month and then that brings down your items significantly I think these are like eight dollars a piece everything will be on the screen here and I will link their website down below but before we get started I'm going to show you the earrings that I'm going to put on today and these are them. This is the earring that I'm going to wear today. It's another one I got from that paparazzi $5 jewelry thing on Facebook. Uh, and I really like them. It's really fun to watch them, like I said in the past. So, so from this, for, so, so what I have <laughs> to, so to play with today, I have two eyeshadow palettes. And this one is called Gorgeous Cool Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. And the thing that really that really kind of intrigued me most when I purchased these is these two shades. This um, highlight and sculpt shades here. And I was just really intrigued. And I really liked this one with the grays and the cool neutrals like it says. And then this one I got. It's called Sunny Day Deluxe Eyeshadow Palette. <laughs> And then this one also has a highlight and sculpt shade in it too. So I, this is just super like intrigued by these and I haven't played with them. I actually just got them yesterday. So I just opened them for time's sake. And then like I just said in a previous video of how much I like cream shadows, I got three cream shadows from them. I got the shade Huntress, which is like a, um, copper kind of color. And then I got this shade, um, Wild Violet. Wild Violet. And then this one, it was hard to open. Not exactly sure why but it was and then this one is actually called pink velvet which is a match a kind of a matte pink kind of tone which I'm actually really intrigued by um, I've never seen anything like this before uh, but that's just me not that they've never come out with anything like that before but so what I'm gonna do is I already primed my eyes and I want to use the cold neutral palette and then maybe just incorporate one of the shimmer cream sh cream shadows. I will play with the other one later, but I just want to play with this before. And I feel like that one would be more of a base instead of like a top, a topper, I guess. Okay. So I'm gonna go with the highlight shade, and I'm gonna go on my brow bone real to start with. I like this. It's like a perfect match for my skin tone, I will say. Really, really nice. Then I do want to play with this gray tone, which is the one I've been most excited about in the palette, is this gray shadow. I'm just going to take a crease fluffy brush and fluff that on the crease and the outer corner. So I've already done my foundation and a little bit of contouring to save some time. And the, I'm gonna show you the box that it comes in. This is the box that it came in yesterday super cute tissue paper just fell out but it has all of these it's um eco-friendly cruelty-free 
um, Queen Beauty and Recycled Board. So, I mean, that's just another reason that intrigued me because it's cruelty free. So, cool for me. And go on the other eye. I think I said in another video that I was really excited for a little bit more grays. I feel like a gray is like a harder shade for people to work with or even a fathom putting on because it's such a, I don't know, maybe not, it could, it could be not very flattering. I don't know what happens with my lip right here and it gets like this darker pigmented tone and I don't know what it is. You see that? What's that? Okay, so I'm gonna just build this gray up to the intensity that I want it to be. So that is the gray on the lid, and I'm gonna take this shade here in the furthest corner. And I believe that it is called Big Eyes. So I'm gonna take this color, which is called Big Eyes, and take this and kind of just smudge it here, bring it closer to the lash line and here in the outer corner. Don't pull it into the crease or I'm not going to. Okay, and then the one, I'm going to do two things before I use the cream shadow. Actually, maybe I might, nope, I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna take the highlight shade and just, let's go in with this brush. Dust it off just to make sure and take the highlight shade and to go on the inner corner. And pull that through the eye. Pull that inward. Because this will add the highlight that we want a little bit. And then I'm going to take this shade, which I believe is called... Goldie Lilacs, right here. Goldie Lilacs, like, <laughs> that's a fun play on words. So take this shade and then pull it in onto the lid as well. All right, so now I'm gonna take, um, wild violet and place this on the center and I'm just going to take a brush dust it off and then I'm going to go around it to blend it through So that is the eyes, and then now to finish them off, I'm gonna go on the under eye. Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna go on the under, on the lower lash line, I'm gonna take this shade right here, which I believe is called Wild Plum. And take this on the lower lash line here. And blend it through. So that is us using this Beauty Pie eyeshadow. And the, stay tuned. I'm going to do in the next video that will be with this palette. Just quick short videos with these. This video so far is only 13 minutes long. And we're just going to do some blush and highlight and be all done. So the blush that I'm using, it's not cruelty free. But I'm trying to finish it up. Uh and I really like it because I only have one blush like this. So this is Clinique um, Pansy Pop. Not cruelty free, but still pretty. And it's like, I don't want to buy another lilac-y, purpley blush if I have this one to use up. You know what I mean? I'm not going to ever buy from Clinique again until they, you know, change their ways. But it's still a pretty blush nonetheless. Just kind of building that up. It's like a lilac blush, but it's not like pop in your face lilac. So, and then for 
highlight, I'm just going to go in with my Revlon blush, uh, my Revlon. This is part of my project pan. An update for that is coming in the next video. I know I said that in the last video. It goes boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just going to pop on some mascara and a little bit of lips and I will be right back. The lips that the lip product that I put on is this Urban Decay um, Comfort Matte Back Talk Lipstick. It's a teeny tiny one. A little mini guy. And that is the end of this video. So stay tuned for a video using the uh, Sunset Days palette, which I... Uh, looks really really pretty I'm not gonna lie so that will be in the, the actually so that will be in the next video actually I'm gonna switch it up and the project pan will be before this and then we can do two back-to-backs of this brand so I just decided that right now <laughs> so if you guys did like this video please give it a thumbs up and I can continue to try new brands like this or if it goes like this, I'm not really sure. It's always backwards in the camera for me. So that is this brand. And let me know if you guys have heard of this before, if you've tried it, uh, anything like that. Uh, I am very curious. So far, so good for me. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.